EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the final leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live third round coverage of the PGA Tour season finale. Welcome to TPC Sawgrass, known for one of the most terrifying holes in all of golf, the 17th Island Green. This is Rich Lerner alongside my colleague Frank Navalo for EA Sports, and we'll be calling all the action for today's event. Frank, you're no stranger to this layout, and you can get huge swings late in the championship. 16's the reachable par 5. We know what can happen at 17. And 18 with water all along the left, that's just one of the most daunting tee shots in the game. You've got three of the biggest shots that you really have to sort of muscle up to. You're right, 16's reachable, therefore an eagle as a possibility. But also we've seen sixes and sevens. 17, we've seen twos, fours, fives, six, sevens, you name it. You keep hitting. Just ask Sean O'Hare a few years ago when he had a chance to win the championship. And of course, 18, one of the most uncomfortable tee shots because you've got to hit it in the neck of that fairway. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Well, that's a, it's a little absurd, that Rich. The shot wasn't that hard, but it's come up uh, well short. Didn't appear committed to impact. shot right there. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Good par. Frank, 17 gets so much attention here at the TPC Sawgrass, but 13 par 3 is exciting in its own right. It is, and it's actually more difficult than 17. Uh, one of the reasons it's longer, um, and also the green here. 17 obviously has two, two sections in it, front and top. This has, uh, I don't think there's a flat piece on it. And every now and again we watch a ball roll all over the screen and actually find the cup for the odd ace. about eight feet. Frank, that is nothing more than a punch to the gut. You know, it's cruel, Rich. Good part and deserves so much more. Another shot out of it. And takes the wind right out of your sails. Good part. Frank, historically in this great championship, 14 has proven to be a pivotal hole. Everybody focuses on the finish here, but you're absolutely right, Rich. This can be an absolute scorecard record because if you spin your drive left, the drop back, perhaps on the lady seats, you can make six in a heartbeat. You try and air to the right, you can make six from the mounds. So a good drive down, half, down 14 gives you a chance for that fast finish. Frank, there's a lot to factor in on this approach at the 14th. You can favor the right side of this green and sort of allow the, the contours of the green just to move that ball to the left. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. And setting up here in the rough. in over the putt. He's made it.
Now to the 15th, and Frank, I know this is a hole that you really like. Yeah, it gets no respect in my book, which I think is a shame. Just a nice dog leg to the right. And really two good shots and a three here, which is actually a rarity. It sets you up for those closing three holes. Too often people just take 15 lightly. And 15 has just a gentle nibble that turns into a bite. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway and well over 320 yards. safely on deck. That's well played. And a good look at Birdie. Far yesterday. Not for Birdie. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. Just a couple of feet. That's a solid car pump. There you have it. Round three is finished, and it was a good one, Frank. Yeah, after three rounds in, uh, you really could start to see who could take home the trophy when it's all.